Hey gals, my name is Lauren and I'm the resident director of SWEP, which is the sweet style female halls just up the hill a little bit. Um, but we're going to be talking about Ray Hall today, which is actually where I was an RA a few years ago. So this is Ray Hall behind me. It's where you all will be living in the fall. There's about 60 residents that live there. So it's one floor. Um, the community is really cool with just that like small group of people there. Um, but also, Ray has one of the biggest lounges on campus, and it was newly renovated this past summer. So you guys have a new, cool, renovated lounge that you all can hang out in together. Another really fun thing about Ray is the walls are magnetic. So you can hang whatever you want up on the walls using magnets, which no other resident falls like that. So let's go look a little bit closer at Ray. Alright, so my name is Lauren. As I mentioned earlier, I am a resident director on campus. I live and work in the residence halls that are a bit up the street from Ray. So you can actually see my apartment from your residence hall, which is kind of cool. So if you need anything, we can do chat. This is my third year being a resident director, going into my third year. And I'm also the assistant director of campus ministry. So you can find me in my apartment. You can find me in on the third floor of Stover in the residence life office, or you can find me on the first floor of Stover in the campus ministry center. So there's a lot of places around campus that I could be, and I would love to talk with you, say hi, um, chat if you see me around campus. I actually graduated from Waynesburg University in 2018. I was a psychology major and I'm actually getting my master's degree from Waynesburg now in uh, counseling. So if any of you are interested in mental health at all or anything like that, or faith, spirituality, I love having conversations like that, talking about meaning and value and where we're finding that in our lives. Um, I also really love chai lattes. I think vanilla chais from Duncan are the best which there's actually a Dunkin' Donuts in town that has not always been there. Enjoy your Dunkin', and um, yeah, that's a little bit about me. I like running, doing yoga, things like that as well, so if you're into uh, fitness, exercise, um, going on walks in national parks or things like that, I'd love to chat about that as well. But I can't wait to meet all of you, and I'm looking forward to you meeting on campus. Right, so we're up at Ray Hall right now. It's at the very top of the hill kind of central to campus. Um, the cafeteria is right on the other side of the chapel, so it takes like five minutes to walk wherever you're going. Um, so if you come up here, you can hang out, do homework. We also have Wi-Fi across campus, so you can use that in the residence hall. You can use it sitting out here, doing schoolwork, watching Netflix, or whatever it might be. Um, out in the patio, in the room, anywhere across campus. So we're gonna head inside. So this is the front door of Ray Hall. We're gonna head in here in a moment. But there's also a second floor to Ray on the very end of the hallway. So depending on what part of campus you're coming from, you can get in on either side of the buildings. So we're gonna walk into the front door. Um, every residence hall has security either to get into the building, well to get into the building and to get into your room. So in Ray you'll have a hard key to get into the building. Oops. Just open it right there. It's important that you don't share your key with anybody as only residents of Ray should have access to the building. But... So as you can see over here, we have a huge lounge. Uh, this is the newly renovated lounge we were talking about before. You have some high top tables, um, some long tables with this really cool honeycomb shape. Uh, lots of room to sit and have movie nights so you just hang out with your friends. And we have a ping pong table over here too. So this is just a really great space. Um, especially your freshman year. So you get to hang out with all your friends, make some new friends. Uh, residence Life also provides programming a lot of times in the residence hall and in the lounges. So you can have Bible studies in here. Sometimes they're on game nights or parties or things like that where we just provide food and just 
like maybe watch a movie or things like that. So yeah, this is our, our lounge space and we'll be headed down into the basement. There's some more spaces down there. System. Everyone will get a laundry card that you can you can swipe, but there's also an app that you can get on your phone to directly put money on the app, and you just use um, the Wi-Fi to start your load, and it'll notify you when your laundry is done. So you don't have to keep coming down here and checking, or keep coming down to see if the washer is free. Um, you can just look in the app, and the app will tell you. So you only do it when you need to, uh, or if you're studying. You can keep studying and you don't have to worry about your laundry. So there's some study space here too if you want to hang out here, um, want a quiet place to study, maybe your roommates using your room. This is a really great place to utilize that's a little bit quieter. Um, and then we have the kitchen area over here. There's a microwave, some counter space, the oven, and the fridge. It's a community kitchen area, so keep that in mind when you're looking at putting things in the fridge and stuff like that. Um, but you're also able to bring mini fridges into your rooms if you'd like. So yeah, this here's a great kitchen area. So this area right here is storage space that a lot of students use, utilize, especially if they're traveling from far away. Maybe they live in California or something like that. So we actually have a room that sometimes we can store things in the summer. At the lounge space, and we went down the stairs to look at um, the downstairs lounge area and laundry area. So we're going to come into the actual hallway part where all the rooms are. Um, so if you walk a little bit further, this is actually an RA apartment where one of the RAs will be living for your building. And this is the on-duty board. So every single day of the week um, and on weekends, there's an RA that's on duty. And so you can find out who that RA is on this board and their numbers are also posted on here. So if you get locked out, if you're having some conflict with friends or roommates, or you just really need to talk to somebody, this is a perfect way to utilize an upperclassman student who is here and available to help you out. Um, we also have RDs, resident directors on duty, which is one of my jobs. Um, and we're on call 24 seven. So the RAs can call us and let us know. Um, we're always available if there's an emergency or if they just need help with something going on in the halls. Um, so that's where you'll find out who's on duty. And if we keep coming back here, the hallway is back this way. Um, and so there's one long stretch of hallway in Ray, which is really cool with building community and making friends. You can always see what's going on in the entire building. Um, there's a bathroom right here and a bathroom right here. All right, so we're going to head into a, a room in Ray. Um, this is just room 12, but it's a typical room that you'll find. So you'll have, you'll have a card just like this, your ID card, that will give you access to your room and your meal plan will be on here as well. So this is an important, important ID card that you'll want to keep. So you just slide your key card in and it flashes green and you can get into your room. other than um, the residence life staff as well. We have access to your room in case you get locked out or um, if you need help at all. So the typical room in, in Ray has, um, you know, you have two beds and you can raise and lower these beds with the help of facility service staff. Um, you have the desks with the chairs and they have these cool shelves. Um, there's also some closet space over there. You have the upper, um, like closets, cabinets up there, and then there's also a lot of room to put clothes in there and the dresser as well. Um, and as we talked about before, these walls are magnetic on both sides, this wall and that wall. So 
yeah, people have a lot of fun with hanging things up on their walls using the magnets. Um, there's also, like we said, Wi-Fi all across campus, but you'll have an adapter in case, a modem in case you want to play video games or something like that that you need um, to plug in an ethernet cord for. And there's also cable in every room. Everyone gets one cable box, so you can have a TV hooked up with, to cable if you'd like. Um, and a lot of times we may share that since there's only one cable access. But um, yeah, you can do what you want with this room. A lot of times roommates talk even before they come about what they want the room set up to be. You can bunk beds or have them unbunked like, like in this room. Um, facility service staff can come and help you do that on both the beds, but yeah, you can move the furniture around however you'd like, whatever is feasible for the two of you. I'm really excited to meet all of you when you move in this semester. I will be helping you guys move into Ray Hall, so I'd love to chat, love to say hi.